breaking news in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Eastern Time. We've got a blockbuster trade. The 76ers are looking to create a big four. They are sending Landry Shamit, Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, two first round picks and two second round picks to the Los Angeles Clippers for Tobias Harris, Bobin, and Mike Scott. And the Sixers are planning to re-sign both Harris and Jimmy Butler to create a long-term big four with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Wow. Now, I don't know if Jimmy Butler is going to be okay with this because he's been complaining this season about his role being diminished because he's playing with a lot of other talented players. But if the 76ers can keep this team together, this is going to be a problem. So before we get into that, we got to look at the Clippers. What in the world are they doing? Clearly, they're getting ready for free agency. There's been multiple players now, big time players that have named the Clippers as a possible destination. You've got Anthony Davis saying he'll go there. You've got Kawhi Leonard saying he wants to go there. So they're clearing that space. They're getting ready. And they've got four extra draft picks, too. The 76ers have created a death lineup because everybody on the team is tall. That starting lineup is six foot eight and taller, except for JJ Redick, and everybody can shoot except for Ben Simmons. This is crazy. Tobias Harris, we got to look at his stats. He's shooting 43% from the three point line. I said he's shooting 43% from three. He's six foot eight, he's averaging 20 points a game. Jimmy Butler is six foot eight, a defensive stopper. He scores, he slashes, he shoots threes. Joel Embiid is a seven footer. Ben Simmons is 6'10". Oh my goodness. The starting lineup is, <laughs> Ben Simmons is the point guard. JJ Redick, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid. How do teams match up with this team? This is, this is scary. This is one of the reasons why I thought LeBron should go to Philly because they've already got Embiid and Simmons and they have other assets to trade and draft picks. Just imagine if it was LeBron here instead of Jimmy Butler and then they're going out and trading and trying to get other players. I mean, this is crazy. It's very hard to process this right now because it, it happened so fast. But if they figure this out, it's a nightmare matchup. This is a tough because Embiid Teams are already having a problem with Embiid. And then, of course, Ben Simmons. And now you throw in Tobias Harris, too. He's having his best season. He's putting up a lot of points. He's having a lot of games where he's dropping 30-plus. He spreads the floor. And now the 76ers, they're looking right at the Celtics. They're looking right at everybody in the Eastern Conference, the Western Conference. They are ready to go to battle. This is so interesting. I can't believe this trade. You know LeBron James is jealous. He's like, man, we got to get it popping. We got to do something. We can't allow the Sixers to get a trade like this, and we're not moving anybody at the deadline. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Arenas is wide open in the corner. No defender. They need a timeout. And look, now he's jumping all over the place. <laughs> Oh, man, look at this. I'm dancing. I got him. Floater. Oh, the floater gets swatted. <laughs> the floater got swatted, 